Okay guys, so do you want a Zane build that allows you to move like this? Well, yep, yeah, this is what I have for you today. This insane build, literally insane build, which allows you to move around any map, any place, any destination, literally like a flash. How's it going guys? My name's DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out. And subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands 3. So to grab yourself one or one for a friend. Simply make sure you are subbed to this channel and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so Zane has been my main since day one. I do indeed love the dude, I am planning on making another character too, but I thought I'd bring you guys the build of Gun 4. I like to move around, I like to be quick, I like to be fast as well as being powerful as well. I mean Zayn isn't known for being the most powerful character in the game, he isn't the most powerful character in the game, he can't be the most powerful character in the game. I mean he can be powerful, but he can make flak, he can make a mo, he can make whoever else is there, I can't remember, I'm tired, he can make a much more powerful Zayn to me. It's all about that speed, about that sneakiness, about being a hunter-like character. And that's what I bring for you today, guys. An ultimate speed build. Now, let's have a look at what we have here, which helps with my speed. Okay, so have a look at the class mod right here. We can see this spooted sonic boom infiltrator. And we can see the actual mods it has on it. We have um, so the first rabbit icon, uh, it's supersonic man. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed, which is just ridiculous. And as we know, Zane, you can have two action skills and at the same time, so this just doubles up your speed. The bullet hand, um, which you can see there at the center, is Zane and his Digiclone gain a chance to ignore bullets. The chance is increased for a few seconds after activating an action skill and the effect stacks. And that third blue bunny rabbit icon we see there, Zane's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the bonus people. So it's all about movement. Other benefits to this class mod, Zane's weapon damage and movement speed are increased. The lower his shield, the greater the bonus. Whenever Zane activates an action skill, he breaks his shield. So that's pretty cool, they work well together. We also have this shield here, now I did have a shield, uh, I had it in my vault, it was a legendary, but for some reason I went to join my mate's friend, I got kicked, come back into the game and my vault was empty, I lost about 20 odd items and a legendary version of this, well it had a 10% movement speed on it, when shield is depleted, disappeared with it. So this is the only one I have for you which I can showcase today within this video, but you can get legendary versions as you well know. So yes, look out for a legendary version of this which works perfect with this setup. Then we have the artifact with 8% movement speed, the Icebreaker Splatter Gun. Now these I've just had randomly farming legendaries all over the game. There's no specific place, I've just farm legendaries on Mayhem 1, 2 or 3, you know how it works people. There's plenty of farm guys out there. Okay, so let's move on to the actual build and we'll start with the Sentinel. Okay, so we have 5 points into the passive ability, Violent Speed. Kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zayn gains increased movement speed for a few seconds. The duration of this, when you've got 5 of these bad boys, is 15 seconds, people. And as you saw at the start of the video, I was shooting and I was moving. And then we have this one right here, uh, Violent Momentum. Zayn's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage bonus. We then have 5 stacked into this cool hand. Zayn gains increased reload speed. After killing an enemy, Zen reload speed is increased for a few seconds. Five into that. Then we have this one. Death follows close. All of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration. Kill skill bonus 25%. Kill skill duration plus 7 seconds. Epic. And then we have five into this violent violence. After killing an enemy, Zen gains increased fire rate for a few seconds. And then we have three into good misfortune. Killing an enemy increases Zane's action skill duration. This skill has diminishing returns. I think the diminishing part about this is you actually spawn in 
with um, not full health, you mate. I think you lose about 20% of your health, which you can easily refill by looting, as you all know. Now, I've applied the Sentinel to my action skill 1, as you can see. Slot 2 right here, we have this thing, which is Bad Dose. Sentinel occasionally shoots out a beam of radiation that weakens enemies and buffs Zane. For every weakened enemy, Zane's movement speed and fire rate are increased. Weakened enemies have decreased movement speed and attack speed. Pretty cool. And we can see the movement speed is plus 6 per enemy. And we have this one in augment skill slot 2, which is static field. Sentinel emits a static field that sends a shock beam to nearby enemies, draining their shields and replenishing zanes. So there we have it people. So let's move on to the other skill tree we are working on which is this one right here, the Digiclone. Okay, so we have five in synchronicity. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill, plus 20% per action skill. So if you've got both of them at the same time, which you'd want to do anyway, because activating them both at the same time stack and make you move even quicker. So this is perfect for that. We then have Prey Monitus, I believe that's pronounced. Zane and his Digiclone gain increased magazine size. Current effect, plus 25% when you slot 3 of your skill points into here. Then we have Barreled Time. Zane gains increased action skill duration for every active action skill. Action skill duration, plus 15% per active action skill. It just keeps stacking people. Then we have 5 slide into this, Danny Brook. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his Digiclone receive increased gun damage and gain half regeneration for a few seconds. Pretty cool. Then we have Fractal Frags. The Digiclone throws a copy of Zane's current grenade mud when it is first activated. If the Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Killing an enemy while the Digiclone is active gives the clone a chance to throw a grenade. Pretty cool. And the grenade chance here is 30%. Then we have one slide into duct tape mud. The first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. This skill has a short sure cooldown. I think that's one I just selected because I needed to unlock the ones up below. Then we have Quick Breather. When Zane swaps places with his clone, his shield immediately begins recharging. Then we have this one, Supersonic Man. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each active action skill. Current effect, plus 20% per active action skill. Like, damn. Then we have one slide into this, because obviously you get this with the class mod. Not super important, I won't lie. And then we have this one. Boom Enhance. Whenever Zane summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to 3 grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload speed, and Digiclone duration. And we can see the effects right there. And with this being my action skill too, because as you know Zane, you can use two action skills at the same time, which just replaces your grenade. I am also using, I ain't even going to try and pronounce that. Whenever the clone takes damage, Zane's shield is restored by a portion of that damage. Shields restored, plus 100% of Digiclone damage. Pretty cool. And we're also using here in Augment Skill Slot 2, Digital Distribution. If Zane takes health damage while the clone is active, a portion of that damage is shared to his clone instead. Shared health damage plus 75%. And that's it people, I ain't using anything on the other tree, we're just using these two right here. I'll give you another demonstration of how quick you can actually move. So I'll have to find an enemy. It's just ridiculous. I'll just keep killing the enemies. Just keep the duration of my action skills going. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so where are you going? Well, there you go. I got a bit of action. Well, I got a bit of movement speed uh, increase there. I activate one action skill. I go quicker. I activate another action skill. I go even quicker. And I can just keep going, people. And look how slow my action skills go down. Just flying and if I kill, the duration actually increases, which is pretty cool. Well, I'm just running so quick here, I ain't seen an enemy to shoot. You literally feel like Flash. <laughs> Look how quick it is. It's crazy, people. It's absolutely crazy. There's an enemy around here. I can hear enemies, but... Where are you going, boy? It's just ridiculous. Nothing can catch her. 
Where are you going? You ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere. But yes, people, this is the actual build I'm using for my Zen at the mini tank. It just makes me so quick. It's unbelievable. I love it. I really do. Now, if you guys have an amazing Zane uh, build you want to showcase with the world, you want to share with the world, you can always hit me up on Twitter at DPJSC08. Show me your build. Show me screenshots of your build. Tell me what it does. And I will more likely make a video on it, giving you full credit. But guys, this is how you turn Zane into literally the Flash. Absolutely loving this. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and want more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can always turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you. Ah, oh, look, my supers have just come Oh, my skill uh, things have just come back. Let's, let's do it one more time. Let's just do this one more time. Let me find an enemy and destroy him. <laughs> Hello, mate. There you go. Boop, boop. There's one. Bam. There's two. Bam. Oh, there's two. Bam. And we're moving. We are moving. We are flying. So good. It's the most fun I've had. Most fun I've had in the build. Without a shadow of a doubt. Where are you going? You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> People are probably thinking I'm a crazy mofo. There we go. Here we go. We're just flying. We are just flying. How do you over, boy? And if you have a look as well, you can see when I get kills, the action skills uh, get a little bit more energy to make them last a bit longer. As you see them right there. And if there's loads of enemies by you, just drop them all. We'll probably go on forever, to be honest. You could probably actually make this last forever. Ridiculous. But well, yeah, guys. On that note, we are out. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Oh, really?